right, welcome back. So if you saw my previous video about generating leads from Google Maps, hopefully you have some leads that you've been able to pull in and have a document similar to this one here where you've taken the Google Maps categories that you want to pull from, then you've defined which zip codes you want to pull from, and then that previous workflow has gone in and pulled in the Google Maps data. And here, what we've already done is we've enriched these leads uh, with this new workflow that I'm going to go over today. And so what we're doing here is, as usual, we have our trigger. In this case, it's just a manual trigger. I think this can be very easily tied into that previous workflow so that you can automatically trigger this enrichment workflow for the leads that you're pulling into Google Sheets. So what we're doing here in the settings, we're defining where, what the URL of the Google Sheets document is, as well as the sheet name for the results. And so that's very straightforward. Um, as I hear in this document, that's the URL and the, the sheet. We're going to go get the results. And I've set some filtering here where I want to make sure that the status is empty so that I know that um, that row is available to be enriched and then that there is a website URL available for that lead. So if there is doesn't work, then it'll just skip that. And so I've also set up a limit of just five items. Um, you can change that for later. But for this purpose, I didn't want to have my AI agent go too crazy with every single row that's being returned. So we start a loop and the loop is set to one item each. So that um, just makes it a little bit cleaner to in terms of updating the Google documents and running the AI, etc. So what we're doing with this AI agent is we're using the OpenAI chat model and telling the AI agent to go and get the URL for this count for that lead. And then from that lead URL, find any email addresses as well as all the social media accounts that are available from that URL. So once I open up here, you guys can see that, you know, you're finding email addresses. Um, very cool that we have the HTTP tool available as one of the tool sets for this agent. It's going to go out, grab those links. Um, I've given it an example, you know, I'm the company name so that when it does look for the social channels, it kind of can have some intelligence around that. So, um, it open, again, open AI, get the URL. And then for the output, I've told it that I want the emails in an array and then each social media channel, this matches the the columns is Google Sheet document so that I'm, you know, I'm hard coding this in a way in the output so that we, we don't have any mix up and it's a little bit easier to handle. Um, I'm setting the output, which means that uh, we're just setting so that it's a, again, the follow on nodes know which data to use. So it's a little bit more of a um, data management node and then ultimately we'll go and update the, the row data that it finds and if it fails then it'll have a fail status on this um, column here in this document you can see that this is enriched so what has it done it's gone and tried to find any email addresses from that url so you guys can see here not everyone not every um run of the node pulls in an email so it, you know we get that there's some missing fields but it did go and find all the relevant social media channels that were available and has added it to this document so rather than going and using SERP API, SERP API or other third-party APIs we're just using the AI model here to go and get the URL and find the necessary data Previously, if you want to do this, you know, you do a lot more parsing of the HTML that's pulled in, but this is doing it very simply, very quickly. And once you have a list of leads, whether it's from the, the workflow that I've shown you guys that pulls from Google Maps or you have a different list, this can be 
a very quick and easy way for you to be able to add email addresses and social media channels to the list of leads you have. All right. Hopefully that helps and you understand what this is doing. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.